Welcome back. Uh, today's card is the lemon card. Uh, this has been very popular on um, my blog and Instagram, and I just thought I would um, show you guys how to make it in a video. Um, I also have this card available as a kit at sandyscards.com, so um, you can make it with your own dies and stamps, um, or you can buy it as a kit. So um, it's starting off with some lemon-shaped die cuts, and um, I just ink blended them a little bit first with some oxide ink. Um, I think that was mustard seed. And now I'm going to glue each of the whole lemon die cuts to two green leaf pieces. So the leaves I cut in a chunky green glitter cardstock, which is so gorgeous and it catches the light and it just makes me swoon. Um, but it is a little bit fiddly to work with. The, um, Chunky glitter just needed a little bit of coaxing on my part to adhere to the yellow, the lemon cardstock. So um, I was just careful and took my time and decided the placement of each leaf and ended up holding it in place with my reverse tweezers, but you could just hold it in place with your fingers and just give it a minute till it dries a little bit in place. But that's what I did there. And the other part of my card is these little lemon wedges. And there's two pieces to those. There's the little half lemon and then the, I guess that's the rind part that goes on top. So I cut that in a light yellow cardstock and then I just layered that on top using just little dots of glue. Um, so now I'm ready to decide the placement. I want it to look kind of random, but still pleasing to the eye and actually that's a little bit harder than than I thought it was going to be so it took me a minute to get things right where I liked them but ended up finding a good placement I kind of want to make sure that the green leaves stayed on the panel because you know that glitter just makes me happy so I filled in the empty spaces with the lemon wedges and um kind of um, fiddled around till I found just what I wanted and then I glued everything in place. I used a nice strong liquid glue here also to make sure that they stayed put, especially because the leaves made a like for a different height on the paper. So anyway, um, while I was waiting for that to dry, I embossed a sentiment on some black cardstock. This is from uh, Concord and Ninth that stamp and I thought the font was a little bit retro. I super loved it. Um, so anyway, after my panel was dry, uh, then I took it to my trimmer and just cut off the edges so that um, it was nice and straight. Sometimes when I use my scissors, I get it crooked and the, you know, perfectionist in me just hates that. So anyway, I just used my trimmer. It seemed easier to do it that way. Anyway, now my panel is finished. It's dry and ready to go. Um, here I was just deciding what, um, where I wanted that uh, sentiment to go, and I decided to go towards the top. So I popped it up with some foam squares, and I got it on there just where I wanted it. So this card came together really easily. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put the panel on the card base and decorate the inside. You know I love to decorate the inside. So I used that same blue cardstock and then a couple of pieces I had left over and put those on the inside. So that's about it. Thank you guys for joining me today. Really appreciate it and hope you have a great day.